fuerte aplauso para Marta Costiu. Welcome to Rancho Sanchez Stadium, everyone, for this second round match featuring a pair of 19 year olds. First out is Marta Kostyuk from Ukraine, former junior number two who cracked the top 50 earlier this year and is only just outside the top 50 currently. And her opponent is the U.S. Open champion, Emma Raducanu from Britain, now into her first full year on the tour and coming off her first quarterfinal of the season in Stuttgart. On Arancha Sanchez, it is Kostyuk to start. <laughs> Open up the court via okay, okay. the return. And a great finish from okay. Raducanu. Does like to go go big on that backhand. Serious no, pace no, no, no. on it, Kostuk, but just missing. Yeah, she plays without hesitation. On that one, well inside. 15 shots. Mentioned not many matches at this level for Raducanu, but just starting to get to this stage where she is facing players more than once. As you look at her ranking progression, I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> well, obviously, one of the challenge play, play for one. Raducanu is to, to keep that consistency of, of that ranking, and we know it's your career is long and the seasons are long, so to have that really big jump at that young age will be a challenge. But as soon as you win a Grand Slam, you know you have all the tools to stay there. Well, she's been studying for her exams, didn't play a lot. Are that much heading into Wimbledon of last year? That's where she also had a very, very good run. That was the, the precursor to what happened at the yeah. U.S. Open. a very different position now Raducanu because she didn't have a lot to uh, to lose last year at Wimbledon and this open she was really enjoying it but now it's very different situation everyone wants to to beat her so mm. it's um try to adapt with all the pressure of staying at that ranking will be interesting to see how the rest of the season goes for her. just great from Raducanu building the point didn't try to get a clean winner on the last shot but doing more than enough force there and win the point Good serve. Yeah, it's a big part of her game because Shook. Well, she's tall, she's strong. Very physical tennis. 
You can see it in the serve also. What a great change of direction. Second chance. And she breaks straight away. Yeah, so did first game for Raducanu. Playing strong, what playing solid. A lot of way on, hard courts, winning Australian Open, but also French Open champion, doing it on the clay. And you're talking about Steph coming to terms with, you know, becoming a Grand Slam winner, especially at a young age. And also, you know, she has changed coaches a few times. There was very recently stopped working with Torben Belts. Wow. So, well, I was just going to say, <laughs> because well, what she was saying is that I wanted to get used to the pace, you know, the hitters on the tour and have some sp sparring partners, hitting partners, but <laughs> look at the pace she was able to get here. Yes, different mentality. Sometimes it's always good to, it's good to not always travel with a coach, meaning sometimes it's good to have a break, but. I think she mentioned that she might not need them, so it's it's a bit of a it's kind of it's a nuance, nuance in French. <laughs> You're a bit more freely sometimes if you don't have a someone in your corner. Well, she played every point perfectly there. Knew when to go big with that forehand down the line, but again, not trying to go too, too big that she would make the error. She's doing really well at the moment. Pretty much in control of the rallies, but not overpowering them, but just putting the pressure. And she's very quick also to get into the court. Taking the ball early. So there's a sprinkling of players now. She's just starting to face more than once. Vondrusheva, Martinsova, who she beat in the first round after doing so in the Billie Jean King Cup, also with Zhang Shuai. She faced Kostik last year. That was in Cluj on a hard court in the quarterfinals. That was won by Kostik 6 2, 6 1 in an hour. A different country was indoors, right? It was, it was indoors. Yeah. There was 41 on four stairs that day, but she said after the match also going in that she wasn't feeling great on the morning of that match. She woke up feeling a bit a bit tired, so may have been something to do with her also. Also don't take away the way that Kostik plays. both a bit of rivals when they were in the juniors. They know each other quite well. Bruce, the first serve. 14, 13. 
few on first arrows coming from Kostyuk side since the beginning of this match. She wants to be aggressive and control. She just have to find the right balance. With a little bit of help. Kester was quite far from that baseline, so it was the right shot selection from Raducanu. She disguised it well, too. Bit of luck, but you create your own luck, right? <laughs> and she created the, the point there. She had the time and space to hit that shot. She was so far behind the baseline, high degree of difficulty also. There's a good approach from Kostya. Just trying to fend off Raducanu, who's been playing so well early going in this match. As you look at the coach of Kostya on the right, Andrea Volpini. <laughs> Forcing that air with the serve so far, Raducanu five winners, no unforced. Just kept going with that backhand and that exchange, blistering. This is magnificent. The, the amount of power she produced, and she's not the biggest, uh, strongest player, meaning she's not as tall. It's just her technique is so good. Yeah, no chance on that because of the serve. In Madrid with the head of women's status at the LTA, Ian Bates, he was the one in the shades, one of Regents, also in the second row there. Also works with uh, Max Eisenbud. Had to work so hard to get a hold in that game because of this great start from Radu. Early break for Emma Raducanu serving a 2 1 against Marta Kostrek in Madrid. Steph, Fifth you had a chance to uh, hit with Emma quite a few years ago. What were your impressions, and when did that when did that take place? Yeah, well, that's when she was about 13 years old. 13. Wow. And I started playing tennis at the Bromley Tennis Center. Yeah, so I, I helped her for a few times just sitting with her and just so but the the first thing I knew she I knew she was going to be a great player just because technically and physically she was very good at a young age. But also she had that self belief that she was very confident. Made it difficult with that direction of lob going yeah. to the backhand side. So you, you said that you felt that when you f the first time you played. What 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 exactly? Just the, the was it the pace of the ball was? Well, pretty much everything because the um, how she was hitting and the timing and the technique when she was that young, it was quite exceptional. Was able to get on top of that ball early. 3 1. You just knew she was going to do something special. Maybe not, well, maybe not <laughs> that young. I mean, 19 and winning a Grand Slam, that's incredible. To come through the qualifying. <laughs> yeah, it, it, 
even then. But uh, yeah, I think uh, her development has been uh, it's been fantastic. Well played. She worked that point so nicely, Kostic. She's very powerful. 15 love. Ukrainian. That was really also a, a tough smash to do. She was going backward. 30 love. What a response on that return. I think it almost surprised Kostchuk on that one. With the way she hits that serve, those one, two. Combinations are possible for Kostya. Quarenta, treinta, forty, thirty. <laughs> After the best reply to the drop shot is the drop itself with great control. She hit that one, Kostyuk. That holds for her second game. Three, two. Three, games to two. Three, two advantage for Emma Raducanu. Oh. Was it wide? Touching a bit. Okay, I would tell us straight away. <laughs> She's convinced the ball was wide. He has the final say. Could be a tricky game for Raducanu. You can see Kostyuk knows it's an important one to stay in that match. In the high quality since the beginning of this match. Yeah. She loves going around that back end, running around it. Went for a bit too much there, Kostyuk. But that's like that's how she likes to play.
crisp forehand there. First time she's been tested on serve. making Kostuk play hard on every point, Raducanu. Well, Kostuk having hit some of those balls well, well behind the baseline, really yeah. pushed back. Slump 30 in that game, but Raducanu comes through with a hold. It was a very important game for her. As you mentioned. She's playing with a clear mind, I feel, today, Raducanu. Today, Marta Kostyuk just have to make sure she cut those unforced errors. Try to refocus here. But it's tough when you get your opponent, get all these balls in the court. I feel sometimes Raducanu, she's like a wall. Maybe, maybe that's the reason why she tried that shot. Typical position, Kostyuk. Trying to press there. Yes, always trying to find that right balance. Being patient. Because she likes to be the, the one who dictates as soon as she can. Our first serve is dropping. Around 60% now. how consistent Raducanu is. She only have one unforced error since that six, seven, six, seven games. It's really good. And the unforced error count for Kostik eight, her second serve points one, 25%. Yeah. So she did find the first serve there, but I wonder if Raducanu will feel she should have had that pass. Just too good, opening up the court with that serve. She kept, kept it simple. Kostyuk, with the type of serve she has, that's how she, she likes to play. Just go in bigger margin. Put those extra balls in, but as soon as she gets a shorter ball, she just really go for it and a big target. small chance there because it was at her but maybe leading the other way how about that point from Raducanu start to finish really in control gets the double break now and leads 5-2 
now trying to close out this first set. Almirado County leading five games to two. She's in very much control right now, Raducanu. Making Kostro playing a lot of ball. It's just about being consistent, but doing it with quality. And that's what Raducanu is doing right now. Making your opponent overthink a little bit. Had the pace there combined with the accuracy. 13. And you were saying it, Steph, that she's been on the front foot, building the points so well, they're taking it to her club, but they're defending. Yeah. At the minute, she's doing everything the right way. She's being aggressive when she needs to, defense when she has to, using the slice. Also, she, she's done a few drop shots, so she's playing with a really clear mind at the minute, Radicano. Highly impressive opening set from Emma Raducanu. Takes the opener against Marta Kostyuk in Madrid by six games to two. Play in the, in the UK is probably not the, the first uh, surface you start to play on. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I just think with the, the quality she's been playing in that first set, yeah, I think she, have a, she has a bright future. Mm. Just also putting everything, all the pieces together. <laughs> but on the other side, Kostruk might have just had a not so good first set. So she just has to change her mindset, really cut those on first errors too. I think she's uh, she's seeing all these balls coming back to her. I was saying Adukanu sometimes is a wall. You can see she gets impatient after the second and third ball. Just put those extra balls. Hey. In play, but. <laughs> We can see after that previous miss, the frustration was there. Perhaps that carried over into the next serve. Serving sequence. It's really mounting, unfortunately, for Kostchuk. She has to make some adjustment, definitely, to try to get back into this match somehow. But unfortunately for her, it is another miscue. And it's a break to start the second for Radu Kanu. I'm just really impressed. I also saw the percentage of 86, I think it was, a first serve for Radu Kanu.
One thing Kostchuk has to do is, even though she lost that point, that was, what, five, six ball that made Raducanu play? So just show that, show that she's, show Raducanu that she's going to have to work a lot on every point. Because it hasn't been very total opposite. Kostchuk really missing a lot early in the point. We saw the stat for the win-loss after winning the first set. Two losses for Raducanu, six wins. Those two losses came back-to-back -back during the Sunshine Double, Indian Wells and Miami. Two very long ones against Martic and Indian Wells. 7-5 in the third and also 7-5 in the third against Siniakova. No, any match are not perfect, but <laughs> trying to think. She made her own first stairs that I remember <laughs> Raducanu in this match. It's been quite impressive. Well, and, and the precision of which she's playing, very, very high quality, putting Kostic in difficult positions. And to answer your question, Steph, it's still just the one, still just the one on four stair. Yeah. Like, you rarely see that stat on the score. Uh. hit the forehand powering through there was Raducanu how about the dynamic of this actual matchup Steph because when they last faced off she only won one game three games pardon me Raducanu yes we know on the day of the match she wasn't feeling all that great but maybe think okay I'd like to get out of the crack you know take on Kostrick once again It doesn't feel like it's phasing her. Probably not even thinking about the the last time they played. We're talking about mental strength a bit, and you can see Raducanu winning the U.S. Open from the quality. That takes a lot. That's uh, that's eight match in a row. I think on that matter, I, I think Raducanu has this um, self-belief and she she's also pretty good at playing in the moment. Her best rally of the match. Well, she has to be ready for the fight, Kostchuk. All those extra balls. We know Raducanu is not going to give it to her easily. That was a really nice finish from Kostchuk.
<laughs> Lightning quick. 30, One thing to add, really. <laughs> Perfect return. Responds very nicely, Kostyuk, to save the break point. He won it. She spent five out of eight times she comes to the net. She won the point. I think when she can, because she's so aggressive and try to dictate a lot. Good addition to a game style, Kostchuk. Some rest right there on a return for Kostchuk. So many of those returns have been in play and also putting Kostchuk under pressure immediately. Tried to take the pace off on the serve and force the error. Get the error from Raducanu, it didn't come. Yeah, mentally, it's, it's a bit difficult when your opponent's playing so well and putting all these balls in the court with such quality. You can feel the pressure of trying to do too much or four doubles for Kostya It's another break for Emma Raducanu, much to the dismay of Marta Kostyuk. We had the U.S. Open finalist on this court earlier. U.S. Open winner Emma Raducanu followed, and she has a, a big lead, you would say, against Marta Kostyuk by set and two breaks. Wow. Well, she's been so impressive from the first point until now. One on four stairs coming from Raducanu. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I mentioned she was the, well, we mentioned her a few times, but she's the US Open champion. I said it was eight match, but actually, math is not my strongest. It was 10 match in a row. So my apology. It shows I was talking about how our mental strength is so good. She's really good at playing in the moment. Oh. The costume gets that one. I was not sure what she was going to do. 30, 15. In response, Kostya, she had a few options. She could have also used her forehand. 
That's a good slide, though. She hadn't missed many of those serves out wide. Missed that one and comes back with that second serve. 14, 15. And going back to that run at the U.S. Open, didn't lose a set in the qualies or in the main draw. The most games she lost in the main draw was seven. Two matches. Precision with the length from Raducanu. You know, if things continue as they are, I wonder how she'll assess this match in the context of the whole season and where she put this match in terms of, you know, the best matches she's played. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she knew Kostchuk. Yeah, she lost her last year. They've been rivals since in the junior. Just how also the, the way she's playing today, it shows that she's done a lot of hard work and then just give her a lot of confidence. We know she has a lot of self-belief, right, Kanu? And when you're able to uh, play a match with that high quality as she's just doing right now, Kostic started with a victory over Clara Towson in the first round, 6-3, 6-2. Nice to have her back on the tour. Towson, other 19-year-old, she had dealing with a, a stomach illness. Did she make that? It was called good. Yeah. Well. One. Ciao, Dema. It was close to perfection. 40 50. On the board in the second set. So the ways to go for Karsik in this second set. As Raducanu leads by set and 4-1. Fifty-five minutes on the clock, and Emily Raducanu with a, a set and four-one lead over Marta Kostic. She's played brilliantly. Not been many of those unforced stairs from Raducanu. Just had a couple in the last game, one to start this one. Kostic surely hoping for maybe a bit more. Response from Kostchuk. She could have been, she's been a bit frustrated with the way she's been playing today. We can see some, she's a fighter, <laughs> Kostchuk, as we know. But it could be a different story. Uh, 
How she'd like that return back. Cross check. Yeah. It's a bit unfortunate. I was thinking maybe that game can maybe change the momentum a bit. But Raducanu has been so solid from start to, well, it's not finished, but for now, she's in control. And even more now. say she was doing so well probably the first mistake that she lost her focus a bit there Raducanu it was too tempting to do that drop shot as that owns Jabba <laughs> oh you fully expect her to drive yeah with the forehand yeah and as she does there she goes through right down the line that was a a la Emma Raducanu forehand. <laughs> She's really good at redirecting and taking all the power and the pace from her opponent. Not up, <gasps> Not up called by the chair empire. No disputing from Kostyuk. Uh, that game was a chance for Love 30. So good, somebody yelling from the stands. may have been her box, but she has been so, so good, Raducanu, today. Two excellent from Kostyuk. She's been coming to the net ten times today. Winning seven out of the ten. So that's a good stats for Kostyuk. Also made some history a few years ago. Did Kostyuk at the Australian Open as a 15-year-old, getting through to the third round youngest woman to do so. That was since Missing that time with a forehand drop. She's making her play so many balls, Raducanu. 
But once again, much better from Kostchuk playing all those extra balls. It was just too good at the end. She's been playing with a, a clear mind today, Raducanu. She's doing an amazing job at doing that. How about that slice down the line she hit? So few matches on this surface, on this display. It seems like she's been playing on this for years. Two match points. Too good to be through. <laughs> Those few on first errors she's been doing today, coming in the last game. Well, maybe not the last game, excuse me. But she's been in control of the match so well, Raducanu. The serving number she would have hoped for today, Kostic, no aces, five doubles, three in the second set. <laughs> incredible, incredible performance from Emma Raducanu. And you can see what it meant to her as she beats Marta Kostic 6 2, 6 1 in Madrid. What an incredible performance from her. Can't falter on anything today. You can see. But if I lay down and I play